Hello, and today we will be reviewing the straight movie. I am beautiful and sleepy, but I shall be the one to be reviewing. Mr. Satire Skeptic is sleeping like I am. Almost, but since I am awake, I will review the movie. Never mind, I want to sleep. Well, sorry about that. Gotta catch this not stray. This is not a stray, so it can't review the movie strays. Now, I'm not gonna lie. When I went into this movie, I really thought it was gonna be pretty bad. Like, it looked like it could be funny. It could. It could have been. It's how I felt coming into it. And honestly, I was right. It was funny, honestly. My, my little gut feeling that was like, you know what, let's give it a chance. Honestly, I'm glad I did. So basically, Strays is this dog has a bad owner. And um, since he's a dog, he doesn't understand that he has a bad owner. So he loves him unconditionally. But the owner treats him like <coughs> So, eventually, he, um, what's the thing, realizes this because he meets a bunch of strays and he plans to get revenge on his owner for mistreating him. So, I'm not gonna lie, first, I love the characters in this movie. Like, everything, every character was made very well. Like, there's, there's no character that I feel, like, dragged down the plot at all. Like, everything, every character had its point, even some parts. Okay, even characters that appear only momentarily. They, 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 add, they add points. Honestly, they're, they're necessary. I don't think there's, like, any unnecessary characters. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to spoil why I'm laughing, so let's just continue. So, most of this movie is portrayed by the voice actors Will Ferrell and Jamie Foxx. And they did a great job. They have a great dynamic together. And it really worked in a way that I didn't ever really expect it, I guess. It's, 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 it's not, you can't, you just have to see it to understand. They just have great synergy together and it really brings the movie up. The only problems I think I have with this movie is that there's no, there's a plot, but it's like very, very tiny. Like I told you the movie, that is everything that happens. Dog, bad owner, realizes it, wants to have revenge. That's the whole movie. Nothing else happens. Yes, there's a couple scenes in the journey, I guess. There's like side quests. Side quests they take. But in reality, that's it. There was some parts, I say 40 minutes in, I was kind of feeling like... You kind of started to get bored. I'm not going to lie. Because you were kind of just like, well, what's the point? I don't know. But they were able to kind of bring it back pretty quickly. But the fact that I, you still get to that point a couple times in the movie kind of docks it a few points. Because it doesn't keep you engaged the whole time. Unless, of course, you really, really, really like this humor, then you will always be engaged. <laughs> now, I am not gonna lie, I'll, there's so many out-of-pocket jokes that I just, they were great. Like, there's, I've never, this is some original stuff. Like, sure, a couple of stuff, you know, he's seen it done it every time, but like, there's some stuff that was like, wow, I've never seen in the comedy before. And that's really good for this type of movie, because... I don't know, it's just comedies right these days are just expected to be bad because they usually are and not funny. But this one was funny, genuinely. If you go into this knowing it's a dirty comedy and being able to realize that where it actually has good life lessons. Sure, you know, we'll take it. We'll take the wins. Good life lessons in a dirty comedy. That's that's nice, you know, Mr. Doggo approves. He's, he's really beautiful, you know, he really approves. Look at that face approval so either way if i have to give it a rating honestly i think it just barely barely squeaks by the lightest seven possible lighter is a feather a light seven because honestly it just blew my expectations out of the water maybe a 6.5 perhaps but i want to be nice because i feel like if a comedy can make you laugh a decent amount you know it's doing its job. It's like horror movies are made to scare you. Comedies are made to make you laugh. Of course, those make the movies harder to review because you can have a movie that you laugh a lot, like let's say White Chicks, but it doesn't make it necessarily a good movie. And that's the thing with this one. 6.5. 6.5, light 7, around that range. So if you really want to see a stronger comedy... Or a similar comedy to this style. I really recommend checking out Renfield. Because Renfield was another low expectations, high delivery movie. A little bit better than this one. 
but kind of a similar genre where it's like except this one is more like shock comedy gory comedy so go check it out up there and i'll see you in the next one